In 1996, well-established and successful author Tom Clancy helped form game studio Red Storm Entertainment, and with it gave birth to what many considered to be the pinnacle of modern tactical shooters. Games like Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon were not the first shooters on the market, but there's no doubt Tom Clancy helped shape the tactical shooter genre into what it is today. Tom Clancy passed away at the age of 66, leaving behind him a legacy that consists of nearly 50 titles and counting, many of which have changed the face of first-person shooters and stealth action games forever. Whether you're new to gaming, looking forward to titles like The Division, or an old-school vet who fondly remembers the birth of Rainbow Six, there's no doubt many gamers have been touched by his influence. Here are some video games that helped make Tom Clancy one of the most powerful names in gaming. Red Storm Rising, a submarine sim loosely based on Tom Clancy's novel, was released on IBM PC, Commodore 64, and Amiga. The game was commended for balancing realism and gameplay, noting deviations from realism, such as the durability of the player's submarine. This was one of the first titles proving that Tom Clancy's influence could make the leap from novels to games. Politica was not the first game inspired by Tom Clancy. However, it was the first game developed by Red Storm Entertainment, the studio co-founded by Tom Clancy. Based off a Clancy novel of the same name, Politica was a Risk-style board game, originally released on the PC back in 1997. Reviews weren't necessarily glowing, but the game did generate $2 million in sales, and it helped pave the way for what came next. In a bold move to further establish the brand, Red Storm Entertainment released Rainbow Six in 1998. Loosely based off the book Tom Clancy was writing, Rainbow Six introduced an element of realism that was rarely seen in shooters at the time. Clancy worked closely with the development team to ensure Rainbow Six accurately portrayed the actions of counter-terrorist units during spec op missions. Through Clancy's guidance, Rainbow Six demonstrated some very unique gameplay that featured tactical stealth combat and problem solving as opposed to running in guns ablazing. It was also one of the first shooters to effectively portray real-life combat situations in real-world environments, facing off against real-world enemies. Rainbow Six also helped pave the way for nearly 20 sequels and expansions, and more or less gave birth to the squad-based tactical shooter. When Red Storm Entertainment was acquired by publisher Ubisoft in 2000, developer Red Storm introduced the gaming world to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon in late 2001. Ghost Recon saw the introduction to a new Army Special Forces unit that focused on full military assaults rather than neutralizing terrorists and rescuing hostages. Gameplay tactics and squad commands were done on the fly, and players could take six soldiers into battle, choosing between four different classes, depending on what each mission demanded. Gamers also got to experience more tactical control in Ghost Recon, issuing commands to different fire teams during battle. Since its successful release, there have been numerous Ghost Recon sequels and expansions, the latest being Ghost Recon Future Soldier. In late 2002, Ubisoft released Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, and with it introduced the world to Sam Fisher, who soon joined the ranks of Jack Ryan and John Clark as one of the most beloved Tom Clancy-based characters. Splinter Cell fully reinforced and refined the mechanics of stealth gameplay. It also focuses heavily on a strong narrative, with a high production value and incredible voice acting, all while moving towards a third-person perspective. The game has since spawned six sequels, as well as a series of critically acclaimed novels, and to date, the Splinter Cell series has sold more than 20 million copies. It's clear that Tom Clancy has had a tremendous impact on the game industry. His books, movies, and video games have given us countless hours of entertainment, stories and gameplay and action that have captivated millions of people from all over the world. The division, or should we say the future of Tom Clancy video games, already made a big splash at E3 when it was announced earlier this year. It is with the successes of these previous games that we hope to continue to enjoy the future that lies ahead, inspired by Tom Clancy.